This is Dark Mystic with Brutally Delicious, coming to the review of Ancient Settlers' brand new album, Oblivion's Legacy. Okay, so if memory serves, the first review I ever did for Brutally Delicious was Ancient Settlers' first EP, Autumnus, three years ago. And in the time since that release, I've largely graduated towards doing mostly symphonic or power metal releases. So doing Ancient Settlers again was kind of like greeting an old friend you hadn't seen, like, you know, an old 10-year college reunion or something. Stylistically, the band has definitely evolved over just the last three years even. For one, they are now female-fronted. Secondly, I think they've introduced a much more melodic style. The first album struck me as modern metalcore. This one has major mellow death moments. It's an interesting blend. Maybe it occurs more often than I think because I'm not a huge metalcore fan, but this might be the first time I'm seeing the two blended. I saw Trivium do like the half Metallica, half metalcore thing 20 some odd years ago, but metalcore and melodic death metal, that's not one I'm familiar with. At the end of the day, I'm certainly not going to complain about it because we all know I love melody and big choruses. So let's talk about some songs. The first track opens up with a really fun, groovy intro. While stylistically it's different, it accomplishes the same outcome as Fast as a Shark by Accept does, which is it's just providing a juxtaposition before the band comes in all guns blazing, and it's fucking great. There's some really good riffing and drumming right away, and I was very much pleasantly surprised by the presence of the melodies. I am curious whether having a new singer brought in that kick in the ass that said what's right to her strengths. Maybe this is like the metalcore equivalent of Bruce Dickinson joining Iron Maiden, or when Dio joined Sabbath. Oblivion's Legacy. This is the track when I think the mellow death elements actually took hold for me. I hear some at the gates, and I'm totally here for it. That said, they do not sound like a clone at all, because I definitely hear something resembling Spirit Box. There's the metalcore, I think. Wounded Heart. Okay, I love this track. There's some great mellow death vibes here. Much more melody than I was expecting, even given Oblivion's Legacy. This could have been a Deceiver of the Gods era Amana Marth track. The chorus is also very classic style, but it's not derivative. I found it very refreshing, actually. Subversive. Here's another great classic track. When I say classic, I'm talking like Judas Priest kind of stuff. I'm very happy with all the melodic considerations here, which I frankly think a lot of metalcore lacks. Last but not least, Redemption. This is a great blend of both styles. In a vacuum, I wouldn't even know how to classify this because I'm not sure I would ever think At The Gates meets Spirit Box or whichever other two bands you want to think of. In hindsight, I wish I had heard this track first because it's a lot easier to classify it when you've heard other tracks that can lean towards one of the two styles we're talking about. But when you hear this one, it's different and it's hard to trace that lineage. So experiment for you fans out there. Maybe listen to this in reverse order. It reminds me of, I think, 12 years ago when Metallica did some festivals where they played all of either the Black Album or Ride the Lightning and they played that in reverse order just to fuck with the audience. In this case, though, it's not about fucking with your audience. It's that I think Redemption on its own is a band establishing a new style. Even though I can talk about what the blend is, at the end of the day, nobody looks at thrash metal anymore and says, well, it's just punk and classic metal because now thrash is its own thing. And maybe Ancient Settlers has hit on that. Great job, guys. Rock on.